I'm about to start building the HMS Victory. And now is a good time. If you're starting to get into modeling, every once in a while you need to just stop, slow down, and reorganize. That's the point that I'm at. So even though these directions for this model ship are not very good at all, they're just visual, it's still important that you pay attention to those and make sure you have everything in the place where it needs to be before you glue something on top of it. So let's get started. Here's what I was referring to earlier. I've laid out all the parts of the ship and they are in somewhat of a numerical sequence so it's easy for me to find. You can see I've pre-stained some. I have some more that I'll pre-stain but it gives me a good start and Organizing yourself and having the space to organize is one important facet of putting a, a quality ship together, even when it's a beginner ship like the one I'm doing today. The very first parts are going to be parts number 25 through 27. They don't need to be stained because they will not show, but I do need to clean them up. This is, uh, there will only be a couple times I'll mention this, but on each piece you remove from one of the placards, you need to sand off or file off the little nub. I prematurely have put this part of the ship together, so I had to back it out because these pieces have to go in there. Right now I'm dry fitting them. And when those three are in place, back part of the ship, this is, uh, number one half and the half faces the front and again they all have a little slot they fit into once it's in place that is kind of holding those where they go and that's why I dry fit it because I want to be able to adjust those to that piece there will be planking that goes on this that's what I wanted to look and see if I want to to bevel those. I think I'm going to try and go without. I may bevel this top one. I'll just do it by hand. I'll probably regret that later. But uh, those are going to work fine. So now that that is in the spot that it belongs, I can set back in place this very back. As I said earlier, you really should put those on before all of these and I could take it completely apart nothing is glued as of yet I just knew that I could go ahead and get it in without uh, having to take it all apart part one those three little pieces part two is setting all these in place while I was looking online for some examples of this ship and looking at the kit itself, I had noticed there were some rectangular cutouts all along this ribbing, but there's nothing in the instructions about it until I saw a picture online of a kit that was for sale, and it showed a solid piece of wood, two of them actually on each side, going through those rectangular openings, kind of stabilizing the ribs of the, uh, the ship itself. So the kit doesn't come with that particular piece of wood and I don't know if they decided it was too hard to get it in, but I've used two of the inexpensive uh, planking timbers that came with the ship because I'm not using those anyway. And I've put them in and let me show you. You work from the back of the ship forward, putting them in, it is a little tricky it kind of would bind here and I'd have to kind of wiggle these and I'll, I'll do one more on screen. I did them one at a time. It holds two. The photo online obviously just shows one piece of wood. So I will show that shortly. So let me try and uh, put one of these in place. It gets real tricky when you get up to the front. And again, this is the back piece. It doesn't go through that and the front piece it just rests up against it so here's one of those very small planking timbers that came with the ship and what i do is i just start back here and i fed it through so this is the top 
And again, normally this would just be one piece of wood going through, but I didn't have that size. I tried a couple different things. I'm wondering if a piece of poster board might work. I don't know. You could cut it to that shape and see. But it goes through pretty easily. You have to guide it until you get to the end. And where it has to make this bend, it's real tough. Although, now that I've gotten some in place, and this is where these kind of bind, so I have to kind of wiggle them, try to get some of the stress off of it. There we go. So on this side, I have all four in place. So let me get the one last one in and we'll see how stable it is. Again, this is just the planking that came with the boat. Again, I've been going uh, from the rear to, towards the front. And that kind of, I think, was implied in the photograph that I saw. Again, it's real easy to get right to the end. Now I'm thinking because I already have one in there, it'll be easier for it to follow the path. Got it. So I will snip these off. Put the, uh, the back piece back in place. And then the front piece also will go on. So here are those rib supports in place. And again, it wasn't in the instructions. I just happened to see this photograph online. And parts 21 and 22, one on the front of the ship, they actually attach to part number 20. This is 21, this is 22. And I am going to bevel that off because this is where the, the planking from the ship will come up and uh, tie in. There's a couple little notches here, so I'm not going to bevel up there. I'm not sure what those are for yet, but I do need to bevel right there at the bottom for sure. Again, that can either be done by hand with a file, or I've got a belt sander, miniature belt sander that I can do that with. So let me get that set. Okay, these are now glued in place. I may end up doing some beveling on the ends here. As soon as I found out what this little, there's a little ledge right there on all of them. So as soon as I find out what that's for, I'll uh, decide on the beveling. So that's, we're all set. These did work out well. I recommend going ahead and doing that. So now let's talk about the decks. The part that you don't want to miss is after you get all the framing done and before you put that uh, lower deck on is part number 33 and it, it's just a small plank. Problem is it doesn't fit. You're going to have to cut it down. It's about three millimeters too wide. Okay, I've test fit it and I'm just going to put a little bit of regular glue on here just down the center. That's right in position. So there that plank is in place and that needs to be there because there's some holes in the lowest level and there's actually I think a small ladder that goes down to that. The sides will not show but that actually does show. So be sure you stain it or paint it. Another issue that people have had is getting this lower deck inside of these members that are closed and it literally is not possible to put those on there even if you try to put them on one at a time before you insert them in place the solution to that is all you need to do is cut each one of these either right here 
towards the top so this top brace will rest on it and I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute and that is so that uh, it will still support itself you don't want to saw it because then you'll take a gap out what you want to do basically is have a break along there so I'm going to actually take some snips and cut it carefully and try and get a break so you'll need to snip each one of these that has a crossbar you will not need to do the center ones because they don't have the crossbar you'll be able to slide it in and you'll need to snip these so I'll go ahead and start that and show you what I mean and get that deck in place Okay, what I'm going to do is right here at the top, I'm going to make it like this crossbar goes all the way across, and I'm just going to snip right below it. Now I'll be able to glue that right back on, but I'll be able to lift it just a hair and slide that deck in place. So I'm going to go all the way down, try and get it in a, the same spot. And again, the reason I'm snipping it, if I were to saw that, it would actually cut out a piece and then this would be unlevel. So that's my theory there. And you might notice I'm turning this. That's because I'm cutting on the flat side. I don't want to go where it's wide. It may splinter it. Okay, I have each one of those cut. Now I can carefully begin to slide this in place. Okay, now I can lift each one and slide in. And it'll work much better. Okay, those are in place. Now I'm just going to gently slide it in. And make sure, see this got caught on the one of those holes. You gotta make sure that nothing is snagged. So if you feel any resistance, try and find where the resistance is. It can also be underneath as well as on top. I have it in place. To be honest, it took me about 15 minutes of very gently lining up every one of these so that I did not break anything. Now the thing that's nice about wood, if you do snap something off, you can normally glue it back on. So now all of these cross pieces, all I need to do is super glue them right back in place. As an example, just lift that slightly or push it off to the side slightly. Dab a glue, line it up where it belongs, hold it in place for 10 seconds, depending on the variety of adhesive you're using. And that's as good as it was before I cut it. So let me get all those glued. There's the framing. First deck is in place. I haven't decided yet on the planking. These are really small. Uh, so I would have to take the walnut that I have and make it real small. I still may do that. And in reality, I should have done it before I put this on. I just got too excited about uh, the process I was in because I realized how I could make that work. But it's not that much that I would have to do. So I, I'm, I'm going to research that. That will be my next step if I decide I want actual walnut on there. And, and 